What's going on, mountain family? Dan the Man here from Moving Mountains Adventures, and uh, it is 5:50 in the morning. We are up and rolling for a little uh, sunrise hike. Unfortunately, it looks a little, little cloudy out, so I don't think we will actually get to see the sunrise. But either way, we're getting out. We're going to Pine Grove Furnace, and uh, we're gonna do a five-mile hike. So we'll see you there. We got a bit of an unexpected surprise. While I was getting ready, uh, I saw something on Facebook. So I hit up the homie, Mr. Jeremiah. He was stuck at work. So I went and picked him up. And now he's gonna go hiking with us. So we're gonna go get his car, and then we're gonna go get some clothes, and we out. trail basically we're gonna walk on the uh Appalachian for i don't know probably a good mile or so uh, and then we'll cut off on a creek trail that goes up to we started at fuller lake and we're walking up to laurel lake um and then we'll cut over um, there's a couple other spots we want to stop and then we'll get back on the at and come on back down so uh should be about five five and a half miles something like that so we'll see you in a bit working down the creek it's really beautiful honestly it just runs right beside it there is a paved path out there I don't know if you guys can tell but there is a paved one out there if you want to ride a bike on it or whatever or just take a little easier walk but absolutely beautiful out here we're probably like halfway to Laurel right now so we'll see you when we get there full pack on even though I'm only on a day pack well I'm going on a trip from June 3rd to June 5th um, that's what my birthday trip is um, so I'll be hiking about 20 miles from Pine Grove Furnace to Caledonia all on the AT so I'm really excited about that so just out here getting some conditioning and making sure I've got everything in here that I'm gonna take but food so I'm pretty much strapped down like I'm gonna be. So, getting some good, getting some good hiking legs on, and uh, getting ready for that trip. steeple trail go up and see that and then uh, we'll hop back down on the AT and get back to the Jeep so we made it over to the pole steeple trail we're following blue blazes now mountain creek was yellow and of course, the AT is white, but we're going to go on the Blue Blazes now, go see Paul Steeple, and uh, see what else we can see. So, Paul Steeple Hill is pretty much straight up at the beginning of the path. But the nice thing is there's this little bench up here. I don't know if you can see it, but there you go. 
Nice little bench up here you can get up, unbuckle, unzip, and let your pack off a little bit, get a little bit of rest in, and then keep right on moving. So that's what we're going to do. All right, guys. So we have reached the peak of Pole Steeple, and, I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. It's a, it's a pretty hard climb, man. Um, there is one alternate trail that keeps cuts out a little steep part, but... Other than that, it, it's pretty uphill and it's pretty rocky the whole way up, but definitely, definitely worth the view as you guys can see. All right, so we have reached the top of Pole Steeple. We're about to get back on the Appalachian Trail and uh, get on back to the car. It's another probably two and a half miles from here so got a good bit of hiking left but got a good bit of hiking in so we're gonna keep on moving So we noticed on the way out that there was a sign that said Swamp Trail. And uh, then we noticed on the way back in that there was another one. So we hopped on it because it's going to take us back to where we need to go anyways and get another trail in. So guys, this is an absolutely wonderful little loop. It's probably about six miles total, um, maybe six and a half for adding this one. But we've definitely been out here rucking it and moving moving pretty good honestly um probably about two miles an hour or so but uh we've been out here for like three hours not even not quite three hours so good little hike good little morning great way to wake up all right guys so we have made it back to the end of the loop We've got about another mile back to the Jeep and then we are going to go get some food because we are absolutely starving, but feel really good. Um, you know, the pack's not too much. I definitely, definitely put that to the test with uh, the pole steeple hike. So that was definitely good to have and uh, I feel really good about the, the hike coming up. So we'll see you when we get back to the car. So we just rolled up on this guy walking and he had this piece of like slag. I'll put it up on the screen here, but he says it's the residue off of the remainder of the iron when they used to make iron here in uh, Pine Grove Furnace. So that's pretty cool. Holy cow, what a day, man. So, I looked, I thought we were doing like six and a half, seven miles. I actually looked after the fact and uh, we did 8.1 miles today. So, definitely got in some good, some good moving. I'm gonna say probably about four, four AT miles a day, which is nice. And, and it's the section above where I'm doing my section hike coming up. So, um, definitely feel super pumped about that at this point. Like. I'm definitely comfortable. Um, the pack's comfortable. Everything's good. I'm good with the weight. So I think it's really going to be a lot of fun for me. And I think it's going to be a lot of beautiful sights. And, um, we hiked that eight miles in about, in about three and a half hours. Um, so, I mean, I can, I can move all day long and still, you know, take pictures and stop. So it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun on this big three day trip. So, but guys, uh, I appreciate you stopping out. I hope you guys enjoyed some of the scenery. And uh, we'll keep it coming to you. Keep it coming to you. Don't forget to uh, leave a like. You know, subscribe. Turn that bell on so you know when uh, the new videos are coming up. And uh, we'll keep them coming to you. So I'm Dan the Man from Moving Mountains. And uh, we'll see you later. Make sure you're out there sharing and showing the love of Jesus. Peace.